What's up everyone? Uh, doing this third row left rear seat belt buckle. This one right here. Um, not to be confused with the one that says center on here. And not this one. Not the center one. And the center one goes up there. Just this one right here. Basically, what's happening is this isn't going in. And uh, so a lot of times you can just clean these out. Sometimes they'll get something in it. But this one is just done. Sometimes you can spray like some penetrant oil in there and free it up. But this one's done. This one just runs straight down under the seat. There's a, a nut. So go ahead and we're going to go ahead and get that out. So if you come behind here, um, if you want, you can remove this little panel. It just pulls off, but you don't have to. Um, I'm going to just bring the seat back a little bit towards me. <clears throat> I'll, show you what, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, first, I'm just going to get the seat up a little bit because the, the nuts for the seat belt are underneath the seat. So let's go ahead and just get this kind of in a spot where we can work from underneath it. This panel pulls off. It's totally not necessary to, to take this off. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get to the nuts without it, but if you do, just, you know, it has clips, so make sure you don't lose the clips. Now underneath here, I'm going to try to get a better shot. These are the nuts for the seat belt. If you just take these nuts off, then the, both those seat belts will come out. The, I mean, the belt buckles. Um, I believe the one I need is on the left. I, but I mean, someone put in two center seat belts on this, so and I don't know if which one goes where, but um, I'm just going to get the one that's... Uh, I'm probably going to take them both out and then put them back in the way that I want to. Uh, it's a 14 millimeter for the uh, nut. Go ahead and get this off. And what I mean, what I like, I'm going to put them back. I'm just going to put them back in the way that I think they're supposed to go. Like the, the left seatbelt buckle will go more towards the left and the center towards the right. So get, get these nuts off. Once you have the nut off, you can pull this off. It just comes off like this. And then uh, I'm going to just go from the top and pull it out. Just like that. Um, you know, it might catch on something. It doesn't, it might not be like that easy for you, but I already took this one out because like I said, someone I put in two in here. So I'm going to just uh, slide it back down. There's two holes. There's one in the front and one in the back. So I believe the back hole goes for the center belt buckle. That sticker was my part number and uh, it comes like this. I got this from Toyota, the dealer. Um, so basically I'm going to put this one. I'm going to put this one in probably the back, and then this will go to the left side seat, and then this is the center, as you can see it says center on it, I'm going to put this in the front hole. Now it might be hard to see on camera, but if you're looking at it in real life, you'll see the holes that I'm talking about. And then I just run them underneath and bolt them down, uh, just make sure they're faced the right way, and uh, get these sinks down. I would get them pretty tight. I don't have the torque spec, sorry, but um, you know, I wouldn't like break break the bolt or the nut trying to get it on, but I'd get it pretty tight. And this thing goes back on if you had taken it off, but again, this is optional. This should just clip back on if you make sure all your clips are back in it the right way. Like that, and that's it.